Okay, just doing a quick video to show you how to diagnose a problem with a MIDI controller and one of the functions. Could be a knob, could be a button, could be anything. Uh, just to make sure that we're all on the same page, I usually prefer the Pro layout, so the Pro skin. From there, the first thing I'm going to check is my audio section, if it is one of the EQs that are not working the way you're expected. As you can see, it says hi-hat, melody, vox, kick, and vocals. Uh, that's because I'm using stems. So you can click on this to get into the EQ mode. It can be disabled. It'll show you the traditional frequencies. You can select easy remix is where I usually end up having it, uh, or modern EQ. Selecting any one of those will change it. If it's disabled, you can also utilize the stems. And those will be over here. And you can use those on the pads in your controller as well as the buttons on Virtual DJ. So that's the first place that I'd look. Check your file, make sure it's working there. The second place that I would check is going to be going up here. We have a little cog wheel or gear. Clicking on that will bring us into our configuration page we're looking specifically at mapping thankfully it's right up here and we're gonna grab a hold of the dial or button that is not working we're gonna test it out and as you can see over here on the right we can see our game control another cool thing we can do is we can click on that we can check our mapping so our gain is set to volume so if you're testing an EQ mid it should say key EQ mid, and the action would be EQ mid. If it isn't, that may be why it's not working, and you should remap that. The other place where this is really useful is with crossfaders. There's a couple of people that reported issues with loose crossfaders. Um, if it's not tight, if there's some debris in the way, you may encounter a situation where it's constantly getting MIDI feedback. You'll be able to track that here, and it will look something like this. And that's basically how everything works in a nutshell. Hopefully this will help you troubleshoot your controller.